Hey guys, it's Mike the Mike the Wrestling Godsmith. I'm gonna talk about NXT, but I'm about to make some predictions because I missed a lot last the last week. Because I didn't because I wasn't around, I didn't have any Wi-Fi, so I didn't really get to watch it. So, like I said, so Imperium and British Strong Style had that blow off match. That rivalry is not done, not by a long shot. And Walter facing Travis Vinks for that UK title. This is my UK. I'm going to do my UK predictions. I think that's going to be the first thing that's going to happen. He's going to become UK championship before the takeover in Cardiff. And I think that's actually... Cardiff has got to be part of Swindon Town in England. Because I know I know about Cardiff. I've heard about the town a thousand times. But that's what I'm saying. I think he can be the guy. But... Walter and Imperium are not going to let him. He's not going to drop the belt. He can't. Not even if Pete Dunne. Because if Pete Dunne doesn't get that Walter actually good to keep the title. And Imperium is just like the faction itself. You have Fabian Archer. And usually when you have Fabian Archer and his partner, they're going to stop you at every chance. Meaning that they could go after the UK titles or the UK tag titles and be the most dominant faction in NXT UK. Because they're not like everything else. They're Imperium. They're a whole different ballgame. And Walter is not that type of person you want to mess with. Okay, prediction number two. Tony Storm still has that belt. But I think Rhea Ripley is going to take it back at some point. I think she will become UK champion or... They're going to bring in Kylie Ray, where she, Tony's going to have to fight Kylie Ray for the title. Because they, they need somebody. They need somebody for her to face, and she's faced everyone. It's the same thing with Vita. I think I forgot his name. The other tag team guy, and even with, even with, and I'm sorry, and this, this is just something I, that's been bugging me ever since I've been watching NXT UK. So here's my here's my thought about Matt. Um, no, no, no. Um, uh, Cash is Ohio. I just Cash is. Oh my God. I mean Cash is. Oh no. I think he's a piece. I really think he's a piece of crap. And I think, in my own words, he's a complete. He is a. He's a, he's an he is a he's an asshole. Because he is. And I don't know what is up with them. I just, I'm hoping to God, somebody on NXT UK, Cassie's on the leaves NXT UK. That's my third prediction. I'm not making this a rant video. That dude has no respect for British Strong Style Wrestling. He has no respect for it. And I respect it because I'm a true Indian and I, I'm an true Indian and I like British Strong Style Wrestling. But he needs to go. He really needs to go. He needs to go. Because he's not getting anything. They're only using him to take up that space. And Cash is almost like, I'm leaving. I'm going to NXT UK. No! I don't like you, Cassius. Because you're... It's the same thing. They're using him for jobber bait. It's the same thing with Drew Gulak being in NXT. Because Drew Gulak never really went to NXT. He just went to 205. And I get the whole thing with him and Kushida. That rivalry's kind of hot. Because Drew Gulak sees something in Kushida. Kushida sees something in Drew Gulak. That's the thing. And I wish Drake Maverick could be somebody. And not just have to be the man in 205. Which is doing a great job. God, it's Drake Maverick. But. My fourth prediction. Imperium gets Imperium is broken. Imperium dissolves. Dissolves. Because you know why? Because it's not gonna last. Because the thing is three guys works as a team just like the MC Dero worked with four. Or five counting um Bobby. And I just think that Imperium it just I like Walter. I like him being here. I really do. But that UK title deserves to be on the TV bus so I tried to the Austrian native. 
he deserved that bro. He has worked his ass off trying to get that bro. Show his even and this is what I mean. This is what I'm actually being honest. You know, if anybody had that title, I would have been okay with um with Jordan Devlin. I don't hate Jordan Devlin. I don't hate the coffee brothers. I love the coffee brothers. But I had some this I'm gonna talk about them too in a minute. But like I said, my fourth prediction is that Travis beats beats the hell out of Walter for the NXT UK title. He wins it. He becomes UK champion before Takeover Cardra. And that match they're gonna have that they're gonna have the Travis is gonna be Banks against Walter one, and then in UK NXT UK, and then when they do it in Cardra, it's gonna be Banks versus Walter two. Because it's it's a big it's a big match it's a big fight feel, and my fifth and final prediction, and I'll be honest, it's, it's a good one. I think the Coffee Brothers, Gallist, and I think Mustache Mountain are gonna have a feud. They're gonna have a feud. I can feel it, because Mustache Mountain is something that nobody has ever seen, just like Gallus is nothing that nobody's ever seen. And the Coffee Brothers, see, Joe Coffee wants his type. He wants it. He wants to be the king of innings. It's just not him. And like I said, it's just not him, guys. But that all that does it for my um they're gonna have a feud or they're gonna just have it's gonna be a rivalry. That's what will happen. A new rivalry will start. That's my fifth prediction. Okay guys, now I still got a little bit of time to eat up. So I'm thinking the next one's gonna be I'm gonna start my NXT predictions. Prediction number one. My AM gets a NXT women's title shot. That's my first prediction for the women's side. Because my AM and Io Shirai and Shayna Baszler all want that title. And the best way I think General Regal should actually do it is in NXT this week and tonight. I think it should happen. I think there should be a triple threat for that title. I think there should be a three-way dance. Because EO wants it. She wants it. She's given up her whole entire life and her career for it. She wants it. Same thing when same thing with Adam Cole being the NXT championship. Because even though Adam Cole is hinting Rob, he wants Robbie to have the North American Championship. He wants him to have it. Because nobody in the world can probably beat Belveteen Green like Roger Strong. And that's something he wants. See, that's what I think. But that's my first prediction. My second prediction is that the Undisputed Era, um, Bobby and Rod and Roddy become tag team champions again. Or, um, Bobby and Kyle become, no, yeah, Bobby and Kyle become tag team champions again. Let us see. And my third prediction, Roderick Strong becomes the new North American Championship. But, I believe... There will be a rematch. My fourth prediction. Strong versus Riddle 2. That will be the prediction. That will be the fight before another takeover tonight. And my fifth and final prediction. Johnny Gargano versus Cole 3. Why I say that? Because as I've noticed with NXT with Johnny Gargano, he's not the type of one to give up on anything. And he wants that title. Johnny, you were hungry. Now you're starving. You're beyond starving for that gold. You want it. And you'll get it back. So, William Regal, when NXT, if you're listening to the, the universe, and if you're listening to this YouTube channel, please make that match official. Don't put it on the TakeOver match card. Make it official. Bring it to the universe. Because I believe that's going to be the final blow-off match in this rivalry. It's not going to be done. It's not over. Two is just, two is just like I said, there's always been three rivalries in WWE history. And this one is going to be the greatest one of them all. And this is only an NXT. The main roster, whew, 
It's going to be flaming in there. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.